What's up guys, we're doing a Joven Plays here. They just released some new DLC for Injustice, so I wanted to show you off some of the new stuff that they have here. Uh, first of which is the main character that they just released. First of four, we got Lobo. So I thought we would go have a little history lesson about Lobo and show off some of his combos, some of his special moves, and all that fun jazz. I was playing earlier, and Superman kept beating me. So Superman's a dick. Let's go ahead and kill him. Uh, he's got his new 52 outfit Superman. is now available for Superman, so we'll get a chance to see what that looks like. Nice bright stage, how about Hall of Justice? All right, so if you don't know who Lobo is, he was he first appeared in, uh, it was uh, Omega Man number three for DC Comics. Um, yeah, when he was first created, uh, they were going for more of like a Punisher meets, um, meets Wolverine kind of character. And he was around in the 80s and he wasn't used too often. He didn't get popular until the 90s when they brought him back as kind of an anti-hero. And that's where this guy really became badass. Like, if you like Wolverine, you're going to love this guy. He's just like this alien bounty hunter. Uh, oh, it's kicking ass right now. Ah, this is actually one of my favorite transitions. Whoop. That's going to hurt a little. That's going to hurt a little. And get back over there. So, looking at some of his moves in the game, uh, he's got his chain here. This is the double. That's the when you use a meter. This is it by itself. Uh, but that's not the only thing the chain can do. We also got the leg burst down here. And if you want to get in, uh, if you're mid range, you want to go in for a good hit, you got that combo right there. So let's see if we can follow some of these up with combos. Oh, that looks good. Follow up a nice hit there. One of my personal favorite combos was this guy. Whoop! <laughs> kind of slows the combat down a little bit. Like you have that brief second of uh, like everyone's kind of resetting. Oh, Dark Seed. Oh, look at that. Dark Side kicking ass. See, uh, his combo's pretty good. Not bad. He's a fun character to use. Uh, let's see if we can do a pop up and show you one of his moves here. Uh, it's forward A. We'll do a pop up. It's followed by that. Whee! Let's see if we can add a meter to that and see what happens. Ah, same thing. No, it doesn't look like there's a meter add on. But, uh, oh, and of course, let's check out his special here. Um, yep. Comes in with his motorcycle, pops into the air, shotgun to the face, and I don't give a f because I'm Lobo. As he flips you off, he goes away. So good. Ah, uh, yeah, if I didn't really uh, make it clear before, Lobo's just one of those characters who doesn't give a f. Or Lobo is the last of his kind, um, and he's okay with that. It's not like Superman where he like feels like he has some kind of duty to like be the best that his people have left behind. He's just like, hey, I'm a bounty hunter, kicking ass. Um, when people, when there's like all these crossovers between, when people think of like crossovers between Marvel and DC, they're always like, oh man, I want to see Batman go against Wolverine. No, 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 no. See, you want Lobo to go against Wolverine. Like these are the two equivalents. Uh, another fun fact about Lobo is actually when Stanley is asked who his favorite DC character is, he says it's Lobo. So it makes sense that this is like the first guy that they bring into this game as DLC because he's he's fun. He's a fun character. Uh, he's not in the New 52 uh, any of those comics right now, which is uh, kind of upsetting. But hopefully he has some kind of appearance somewhere. Uh, let's see what other combos we can find here. Uh, oh, that one's pretty cool. Oh, that one's actually really awesome. It's a uh, hippie shooting forward. Uh, let's use a meter on that face stomp to see what happens. Yep. Oh, double stomp. <laughs> that just feels good. Do. All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right. If you want to jump in for a pretty cool, uh, like close in the distance here and pull them into a corner combo, let's jump in with X, then follow. Okay, we'll jump in with X, then XXA. Ah, come on. You can do this. Nice. Just making it really hard to get him. Okay. He's a pretty cool quarter. Uh, he's a pretty cool corner character. I'll give him that. Oh, come on. And... Oh, I just reset it. That's funny. Uh, I didn't know you can do that. Do the move. Do it. Why is it not doing it? There we go. All right, that was a pretty cool pop-up with a double barrel blast. So that's most of Lobo in a nutshell there for you. He's actually a really cool character, uh, just in concept and in the game. He fits right in. Uh, his motorcycles is so badass. I want, I want that motorcycle. Can someone make me this hovercraft here? Um, but there's actually some more to the DLC. Um, 
go ahead and take a look at what else there is to download right now. All right, so we got some new stuff here also besides Lobo. Let's check out the bad girl skins. We've got uh, Selena Kyle without the cowl. That's that's neat. Uh, old school Harley Quinn. That's so awesome. And oh, different. Uh, you got the dark version of of Wonder Woman. I'm not actually particularly sure what that outfit is, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, next up is the Teen Titans skins. All right, so this is pretty neat. You have Cyborg here and Raven. Obviously, uh, they're part of the Teen Titans. And then you also have uh, Deadpool. No, 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 Deathstroke. I don't know why I want to say Deadpool there, but Deathstroke. Uh, so you have his classic outfit, uh, Wade Wilson. Now, this is cool and all, and I would get this if they gave me a Robin outfit for Dick Grayson. How does he not? Ah, oh, that they're probably saving it for later. I would get this immediately if there was a Robin outfit for Dick Grayson. There isn't, so I'm passing it by. Uh, and then there's the, the Flashpoint Batman skin. I was very excited to be able to get this, and it's a free download too. Free download for Batman, so go ahead and get that. And also, big thing, get the season pass. All right, so the season pass, when you get the season pass, you not only do, you get these three outfits here for the, the Flashpoint outfits for Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and that's that's Deathstroke right there. So Deathstroke goes from uh, uh, looking like that to looking like this. Flashpoint was so really cool. Um, but not only do you get that, but you get the four, all four, DLC characters. All right, I actually, I highly recommend, if you have this game, just go ahead and get the season pass because there's four DLC characters all together, one of which is Lobo, which we see here already. So there's still three more. Uh, if you get the season pass, you get three characters and you pretty much get one for free. Plus you get uh, outfits that we just saw for Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and for Dead, uh, Deathstroke. I almost said Deadpool again. Uh, but I want to show you uh, the Flashpoint outfit Batman. for Batman and kind of talk about that a little bit. All right, Deathstroke. Um, bring coming with this Flashpoint outfit and yeah, just do it medium. So the whole thing with Flashpoint, it's it's kind of what led into the new 52 reset. It was like this alternate timeline, which I thought was so fascinating. It, it's mainly around Flash, uh, but Batman, which you're gonna see here, this is Batman's outfit in Flashpoint. Uh, which is the big shocker about this one, Batman is not Bruce Wayne. He's actually Thomas Wayne, Bruce Wayne's dad, and <laughs> yes. Deathstroke is a pirate. Yes, Deathstroke the pirate. How is that not totally awesome? Um, but what's really, Batman's Flashpoint line was just so interesting. So yes, it is Thomas Wayne, and in this alternate universe, uh, in the incident outside of the theater where the parents are supposed to die, but yeah, in the alternate timeline, really? In the alternate timeline, uh, it's Martha Wayne and Bruce Wayne who die, so Thomas Wayne actually goes on like this vigilante, just takes over the, the city as Batman, but he's more of like a bad guy. Uh, and so he gets rid of Alfred, and his butler is Oswald Penny's, uh, it's Oswald, so it's Penguin, Cobblepot, Oswald Cobblepot. So, that's kind of fun. And he just has like this different, he, he's no longer a good guy, he's kind of a... Like, Batman has this code of honor where he's like, alright, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna stop the bad guys, and I'm not gonna kill anyone. Uh, this, this Batman doesn't care, doesn't give a fuck about that. And you can actually follow, outside of Flashpoint, is he had a three-issue storyline where he obviously knows, like, Flash has told him about the alternate timeline where the sun lives, and so Batman's helping uh, Flash because he wants to, there, he wants there to be a universe where his son lives. But he has to go tell her. They keep referring to her. So, oh shit, that's right. Because Martha Wayne, ha. Deathstroke the pirate won this round because I'm trying to tell a story. Screw you. You find out that Martha Wayne was actually still alive and became the Joker. She was so traumatized by the event of losing her son, Bruce Wayne, that she went a little mad and became the Joker. So there's a female version of the Joker. Um, which is totally cool uh, because it's, it's Bruce Wayne's mom, it's Martha Wayne. And then you have Thomas Wayne, who's Batman, and it, there was, that was just a storyline that I wish they did more of. Gotcha. Ah, one of the coolest combos. So yeah, that's that's the DLC that you can get right now with, with these characters. Um, I highly recommend it. If you don't have it already, go get it. Uh, this was me just showing off the, the new outfits and new characters. If you want me to do more videos like this in the future, uh, let me know in the comments below. There's still three more DLC characters, so if you want to see it, let me know. And guys, see you next time. Live out loud. I'll see you.